I don't think I've ever been quite this impatient for TVNihon.com to release one of their fan-subbed Super Sentai series episodes. I'm getting impatient for them to release episode 29 of Gokaiger because it has fighting footage for the first time of the Goju Gokaio, which is the combination between the Goju Jin and the Gokaio, hence the name Goju Gokaio. And here it is, the evening of Friday, September 16th, 2011, and they still haven't put it out. I mean, this episode came out last weekend. This came out the weekend of 9-11, by the way, and just, God, why is it taking them so long? Usually it takes them four or three days or something like that, which, which is pretty nice, but God damn, hurry it up already, dude. So, uh, what better way to kill time than to make a vlog entry? Once more, I must apologize profusely to my now 432 subscribers for um, leading a rather inactive channel, but uh, believe it or not, the life of an Aspie doesn't lead to many um, interesting things. Um, I have, for example, I have, well, I'm unemployed. I've been unemployed since 2007. Living off of government checks means I can only do so much per month. Basically, I have to save up for two months in order to say, uh, in order to buy something like the DX Gokaio, for example. You know, it's not cheap and easy, and that's with the writer's discount that I have on CDX. But anyways, yeah. Um, so you know, I don't have money for uh, car insurance. Uh, hence, I don't drive my car around. Actually, I haven't driven my car in two years. Poor thing literally has moss growing on it. I mean, I'm not kidding. It has moss growing in the cracks above the car door um and the windshield wipers and the hood and the trunk on the trunk not in it but anyways most of my days i sit upstairs in my room and think of the glory of my collection which if we had a forest fire and our house got burned down i don't know what i would do without my collection people ask me what's the favorite piece of your collection well Really, they're all my favorites, because I pick each and every one of them for, for a reason, or two or three. And uh, if the whole collection was lost, you know, I'd be, I'd be fucking floored. I wouldn't, I, like, literally, I wouldn't know what to do with myself if that thing was gone. Um, and then, between uh, my dad looking for a job, or doing homework on the computer, I'm on there. Um, you know, looking up information on toys and looking at other people's opinions of them and doing uh i don't know just just doing things on the internet oh speaking of looking things up on the internet i don't know how many of you are aware of this or not but i have a deviantart.com account uh where i go by the username what else ava unit 4a there's no underscores in there it's just ava unit 4a you go if you go there. By the way, you're going to see a completely different side of me from what I do on CDX. So uh, just kind of brace yourself. It, it, it's I've grazed the subject of being a merfile. So uh, you're going to see a little more of that side of me over on DeviantArt. Basically, I just sit over. Basically, I just sit over there and uh, collect pictures of mermaids and Lamia and Cecilia and once in a while some robots and spaceships and buildings and things like that but you know it's it's mostly the merfile searching things like that but anyways um what was it yesterday afternoon uh i ran across youtube user zeltrax millennium who just so happens to have his own deviant art account where he is known as zeltrax987 you can find the link to both my profile there and zeltrax987's in the uh, comments section right underneath this video. Anyways, um, he, I ran across him, and he said, Hey, Ava, I've got something for you. And he sent a link to me, and uh, look at the video. Look at what he made for me. Isn't that just the greatest thing? That is... <laughs> That's great! That's fantastic. I'm a mighty mug. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Are there mighty mugs of Evangelians? I mean, officially? I, I don't know, but I want a mighty mug of Ava Unifore. Serious. <laughs> That's great. There's um, a video that I favorited. It's actually my top favorite for obvious reasons. I put it in my favorites folder on, on my YouTube channel. 
and it says Neon Genesis Evangelion Tabris and Ava 04 versus uh, versus Ramiel. Um, aside from the fact that uh, that's the first time, and I've mentioned this video before, aside from the fact that it's the first time that we've ever seen Ava Unit 4 animated uh, ever, I think I think it did a cameo uh, in an alternate continuity video game once or twice, something like that. But anyways, um, this particular video, uh, which is obviously based off of uh, Ava 1.0, um, this version of Unit 4 now has the updated rebuild coloring scheme. So, uh, you know, there's a little more red involved, there's a little more black, and the white is in a couple of different places. And so it's so funny how Zeltrax 987, Zeltrax Millennium, he actually, um, after I made contact with him, he actually he actually updated his uh, DeviantArt picture to have the rebuild accurate coloring scheme for it. So, I, I I don't know what I did to garner such appreciation from Zeltrax Millennium, but wow, I, I'm so thrilled and I'm so honored. And the, you know what the funny thing is? I'm actually going to be getting a second customized thing from him. Uh, a couple weeks ago, he said that his digital camera broke and that he needed, you know, he needed money to buy one. And so what I'm going to do is I've commissioned him for $20 plus shipping and handling to uh, custom repaint my Dark of the Moon Leader Class Ironhide to make it a little more screen accurate. So uh, I just got to find a box that's large enough to ship it. But, uh, oh man, that's going to be totally awesome when that thing gets back. I've, I've seen the stuff he does. He does really nice detailed stuff. Um... I know if I've, I think I've, if I remember correctly, I think I pimped him once or twice in, in either either my Ava channel in one of the vlog entries or on uh, on CDX's channel. I'm not, I don't remember which, but uh, yeah, Chibi Ava Unit 4A. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. That That's adorable. I'm going to see if I can find some way of integrating that into uh, uh, e either my, my CDX... Uh, videos or you know just kind of highlight it or something like that so i'm gonna see if i could do that officially sneak that in there because that that's just too awesome to pass up <laughs> that's great <laughs> i don't know what it is about the goju jin but i am unusually enthusiastic for it i'm so enthusiastic for it that a the text commentary at the end of the review on Collection DX is, if I'm not much mistaken, my longest one ever. And I mean ever. And B, the video review itself is not long, but the commentary was so long that I had to break it up into a separate video, which is now my single longest video ever. And it's just commentary. That's all it is. Right now, the record holder for longest video... Right now, my record for longest video review is Movie Masterpiece Series Starscream, which is the Revenge of the Fallen repaint from Japan. Uh, I think that was... 40, I think that was 48 minutes altogether. That was for the modes review. Uh, not the transformation, but that that is my single longest review. My second longest was uh, the Starship Legends Enterprise D, but this new one, the the commentary for the Goju Jin, is fifty eight minutes and seven seconds. Fifty eight minutes seven seconds for my two cents. What was I thinking? Oh, right. The Goju Jin is beast. I'm not going to say what I said in the video review. You guys could just watch that when I... F you, can f you can see it for yourself when TV Nihon finally releases episode 29. Because that's pretty much the only thing that's prevented me from uh, posting the video. I've been sitting on it for two days now, which is ridiculous. So, um... I'm I'm quite anxious to get it published because I wanted to have it published on Thursday, but uh, yeah, that just didn't happen. So uh, yeah, look forward to my Goju Jin video review and the text and picture review. Tell me, um, 
even though I post this vlog to uh, CollectionDX.com under my blog section, yes, I actually have a blog there, but the vlog is the vlog from YouTube is all that I put in there, by the way. Nowadays, um, do any of you who follow me on YouTube go over to CollectionDX.com and read the text and picture of you? Do any of you go over there? If you do, uh, please let me know and uh, tell me what you think of that over there. Uh, I know some. Of, I know some of you are obviously already signed up with CDX, but uh, most of you, uh, I'm not going to name names, but majority of you, all uh, 432 of you, however many, yes, 432. But uh, I do know that all 432 of you are not subscribed with uh, Collection DX and have not commented on my videos. So. Uh, uh, if you choose to leave a comment in this vlog, tell me if you, uh, you also go over to the CDX text and picture review, because I'd be interested in hearing your opinions about that. I don't get much feedback over there. Although, on a sobering note, uh, I get a lot of feedback on the CDX channel. Oh my god. If you guys watch the comment sections when I respond to people, you know how annoyed I am with uh, the public at large on YouTube. There are a lot of stupid ignoramuses over on YouTube. They've got... <sighs> people just people just flat out don't pay attention to the video. They'll add, the, the ones I hate most are the ones who post before they finish watching the video. So they ask a redundant question, which eventually gets answered. They ask me where can I buy this toy? Where did you get this toy from? When I clearly state I got it from this store. When I clearly state, people ask me, uh, where did you buy this toy? Where did you get this toy? When I very clearly state in the closing credits there, yes, there are closing credits in my videos, I clearly state in there where it came from. I also say in there, as, as often as possible, how much it cost, who manufactured it, and uh, there's always a link to the text and picture of you over on CDX. Many people ask me, oh, that's an awesome toy. Can I buy it? There's also a little disclaimer in the credits that says, uh, no, you cannot buy it from me. You can go to one of our sponsors over on CDX, but no, you cannot buy it from me because, well, I want the damn toy. If I didn't want it, I wouldn't have it. And then there's the ones who, there's one guy in the last month and a half or whatever it is. I'm not going to say his name because I might offend him more than I have already. Uh, but there's this one guy, he, he's getting on my nerves. Uh, he he asked these the, these little kind of child... I know he's he's like a teenager. He's like he's like in his late teens, early 20s because he's, he's got enough of a mind he can figure it out. But he's just, he just asks these really stupid questions. One of the ones he came up with recently was, what happened... What would happen if the Power Rangers from this particular season fought up against the Super Sentai equivalent team? Who would win the battle? Are you kidding me? Seriously? You're going to ask that question? Ugh. You know, I, I, I always... I don't even bother thinking about things like that. It's just not worth it. There are so many differences between the shows and the different powers. I don't even bother. It's such a stupid question. Which is one of many stupid questions I get thrown at. You can tell that over the years, over the last uh, three, almost four years, almost four years now that I've been doing video reviews on YouTube, uh, the tone of my responses has become much uh, sharper, <laughs> and I've become I, I've become a lot less uh, even tempered with my answers. If somebody pisses me off, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna downright slap you down and call you what you are, a fucking idiot. Or, to keep it PG-13, as you're supposed to on CollectionDS.com, a friggin' idiot. I'm, I've been so tempted many times to post a little disclaimer at the beginning of all my CDX videos. Please scan through all the comments before you post because somebody might already have asked the question that you are asking. I can't tell you how many repeat questions I have to answer. It's gotten to the point where I'm just deleting those extra questions. So I'm like, you know what? Wonder away. If you just scan through, oh, you don't even have to read the whole thing. Just what, look, just look through the different, look, look for keywords and key phrases through the, through the different comments or whatever it is. Hey, somebody might already have asked what you already did. 
Somebody might already have pointed something out, and guess what? I usually respond to the, pers the first people who point it out. Honestly, just fucking pay attention. Please. I know there are idiots in the world, but that doesn't mean you have to turn me into one of them. God help me. Ugh. Changing subjects again. Uh, in the matter of selling toys, um, I know I posted uh, a number of auction videos uh, several months ago. Uh, it took a really long time to get prices and arrangements sorted out, and shipping overseas is ridiculously expensive. I've just recently discovered when you're shipping from the U.S. to another country, it's crazy expensive. So I've sold, what is it, one, two, three, four items now out of the dozen or so that I've advertised across two videos. Uh, there weren't very many responses. What? And, and, and please be honest, was it that the even though I was discounting them from the MSRP and what they were to be expected to be now, uh, what was I making them? Was I making the prices too high, or more, were my expectations too high? Because there there just weren't many offers, or or was it a case of people just didn't know about it? I mean, I mean, which one was it? But uh, anyways, yeah, I got rid of the uh, Shoto phone and the Ten Soder. Um, as a matter of fact, the guy who bought the Ten Soder. Uh, did his own video review of it, and if you look at my review of the Ten Sutter in the video responses section, you'll see his video, and he gives me a, a cute little shout out there. So uh, yes, I did sell my Ten Sutter finally. Um, I sold my Shoto phone. Thank Christ, that thing was useless. Basically, right after I did the video review, uh, it went right back in the box. I just I was not impressed with it. Basically, a couple of like days after I was done shooting the review and the pictures and it went up and I started getting comments on it just I put it back in the box I just I was not interested in it whatsoever so uh, my Shoto phone is gone finally some guy in uh, uh, where was it I can't remember oh Puerto Rico yeah guy in Puerto Rico bought it and then uh I just recently shipped out uh, my original Voyager class Ironhide. I've still got, I've still got my original uh, 2008 premium Ironhide Voyager class, but uh, yeah, I sold my original 2007 uh, Ironhide just just because you know. Eh. Oh, here's something interesting. I've entered into a trade arrangement with another YouTube user. I traded my Chrome Prowler Tiger Zord from Power Rangers RPM. And my Bandai Asia Blast Buggy from the Deck Ranger movie, I traded those for a Transformers Armada Demolisher. I think that's Deluxe. He's, I think he's Deluxe Class. Uh, which I always wanted, but uh, never had a chance to get. And I also got a second-hand Energon Unicron. Which... I, I, I never... I don't want to get too much in, in, into this, but... Uh, Obviously, I started watching Transformers when Beast Wars was on the air. That That's where I got my start from. The only thing from G1 that I ever remember watching was there was some sort of uh, car race or something, and the Autobots were racing against humans in their own cars, and then they get into a canyon, and then the Decepticons predictably ambush them. And that's literally the only thing I remember from my childhood about G1. A number of months ago when I was... Uh, reviewing, um, what was it, Hunt for the Decepticons Voyager Class Sea Spray, which is still a very awesome toy, by the way. Um, I, I just, af right afterwards, I watched the first, uh, was it three or four episodes of G1, and I stopped watching shortly there afterwards and decided, you know, this is just not worth it. I don't care what G1ers say, it's not that good a show. It's really not. I'm sure I'm gonna. I'm sure that some of you are G1ers, and I'm, you know, G1ers. I I I don't get into the. I don't get into the flame war regarding G1ers and beasties and all those others. Okay, I I'm, I'm not trying to get into that. I'm just saying, in my opinion, G1 was not produced that well. It just it the the plot lines weren't very were not engaging at all. Yeah, it was giant robot on giant robot action, but just, uh, I couldn't get into it seriously. Yes, maybe if I'd seen it back in the 80s, it might have been more interesting, but seeing it now, 
I don't know, the damage has been done. <laughs> and that also includes uh, Transformers the movie, which I've never seen. I've seen Bayformers 1, 2, and god damn it, I missed Dark of the Moon in the theaters. God damn it! Oh, I wanted to see that. Like, I saw Bayformers 1 and 2 in theaters, which was awesome for me. I got to see one movie a year in the theaters, and that was my pick. And, god damn it, I, I didn't have the time, and I didn't have the money, and Dark of the Moon came and went, and just, oh. Now I gotta wait for the DVD. We have a nice, was it 42, 44-inch big screen uh, LCD TV, whatever that whatever that thing's called, downstairs uh, in the family room. So, yeah, I can watch it on a quote-unquote big screen, but, oh, come on. Anyways, I've only seen Bayformers movies. Uh, I have not seen uh, Transformers the movie. So, um, I have no connection, and, and I also never watched Armada. Or Energon, so I, I have no connection. I have no, uh, I have no emotional connection to Unicron whatsoever. There, there is no nostalgia for me. It's just a character, who, who, who is revered by many trans fans across the decades. And for me, it's just kind of, eh. So, um, heeding to uh, pressure from a number of people, not many. Uh, I'm going to be getting my hands on an Energon Unicron, which should be showing up on my doorstep uh, in the following week, if I'm not much mistaken. I'd have to double check, but uh, I'm pretty sure that someone else already reviewed Unicron over on CDX, so uh, uh, that's untouchable for me. I cannot do that. At least not officially on CDX. Um, and Demolisher, uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm good enough. I should be able to review that one. Which, by the way, uh, Demolisher is going to be the first Armada toy I've ever owned. I have, wh I have what is it, the Land Military Minicon team. And that and Demolisher are, right now, the only Armada toys I ever wanted. Uh, yeah, there are a few others. I I'd have to go back through the list of toys, but I, I think there were, there was like a handful of toys and the Land, Mili Land Military Minicon team and the uh, Demolisher were the only ones I really wanted. And as for Unicron, uh, that was not one that I really wanted, but, um, at least when I eventually get around to reviewing Galaxy Force Primus, I'll be able to put his evil twin brother right up against him. So, uh, that'll be interesting. Oh yeah, by the way, I got a mint in sealed box Galaxy Force Primus for only $50 off the shelf. <laughs> I've actually had, and you guys might have seen them fleetingly in, like, not even a handful of my CDX videos, but uh, I actually have about uh, 20 or so uh, Transformers, Cybertron, and Galaxy Force toys. I've actually, I've got, was it one, let's see, I've got Primus, Dreadrock, and who's the third one? There's a third uh, Galaxy Force toy I've got. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But anyways, I've been wanting to do those for a while now, but uh, it's only in the last year or so that I started doing retro reviews. So I'm hoping to start doing a couple of Cybertron and Galaxy Force toys uh, uh, for, for reviews here. Uh, some of them have already been done on CDX, so I won't be able to touch those. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can start working that. I don't know when. Speaking of which, I get a lot of requests to review uh, certain series. Like, I get requests to review Deca Ranger, Magi Ranger, Bokinger, uh, Abbot Ranger, uh, Hurricanger. That's a popular one. A lot of people want, want to see me review Hurricanger. Um, let's see, what else is there? Some, so I actually got a request for Power Rangers Turbo, which I only have one, two three toys from Power Rangers Turbo. I don't know why people are so interested in that one, but, uh, well, oh, okay, yeah, they're not that bad, but anyways, yeah, I've only got, I've only got, th I've got the Deluxe Mega, uh, I've got the Deluxe Turbo and Rescue Megazords, and then I have the, believe it or not, figure-sized, uh, what was that, Turbo RPM Cannon? RPM R, oh, Turbo Ram Cannon, that's what it's called, but I don't have any figures to own it. I, I, I bought just 
the Ram Cannon. I did not buy any of the figures to go with it, so it's just sitting over there in IndyCar mode collecting dust. Um... Yeah, a lot of people have been responding positively to my retro reviews for Zeo, um, Lightspeed Rescue, and yes, I know I have to get to Titanus. Thank you for reminding me every single week. I know that's just how real life gets in the way. It's these it's these priority reviews for CDX. I mean, I had the Gokai Saber, I had Goju Jin, I had uh, Ironhide, I had. Uh, Oh, what was the other one? I'm already starting to forget. Uh, I haven't done that many since the wedding, but uh, the wedding is still holding me down in, in small ways. It's depressing, really. Uh, but anyways, yes, when I... Oh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, uh, not changing subjects entirely, but um, I recently purchased uh, from another YouTube user a Mint Condition Mobile Rats and Ranger Key set number one. So those, unfortunately, are going to push back my review of Titanus even further when they show up on my doorstep next week as well. So uh, as soon as Goju Jin goes up, I'm... So as soon as I put Goju Jin up, um, I'm going to try, no promises, but I'm going to try and get the review for Titanus out while the Mobile Rats and Ranger Key set are still in the mail. No promises. Uh, I don't know when those are going to be showing up. Uh, probably, what, Tuesday or Wednesday when they show up. So it might happen. I don't know. But uh, I've certainly learned my lesson in regards to retro reviews. Unfortunately, I said, the very first thing I said in uh, the teaser trailer from One Many, I said, coming soon from Collection DX. Uh, next time I decide to make a trailer, I'm not going to say coming soon. I'm going to say coming in this year. Because, well, as I discovered, life gets in the way, in many different ways. Actually, it's kind of interesting, my, uh... Speaking of teaser trailers, it's kind of funny that, uh, Save the Earth, Save the Life, which was my trailer for uh, Lightspeed Rescue, actually has more hits on it than the, uh, originals, uh, Unleashing the Pawa, and, uh, even from One Many. It, it, it's, speaking of... The... And maybe I should just talk about the trailers real quick. Uh, the only reason those have worked is because I've been able to find self-contained songs that were roughly only 30 to 45 seconds long. And it's a recognizable theme. Maybe not the first few seconds, but it's recognizable as being from a specific series. I really, really lucked out with Unleashing the Powers uh, theme, which which I think the song is just called... Un which, if I remember correctly, is just called Unleashing. You look up Power Rangers Zeo unleashing and then you'll find the song uh save the earth save the life was um the lightspeed rescue karaoke version the karaoke version of the lightspeed rescue theme uh i totally lucked out there that was just purely by chance because i was looking for uh, a copy of the lightspeed rescue theme to stick into the uh the video reviews closing credits and the karaoke just happened to be sitting in there so uh, i was lucky there uh, same thing happened when I uh, downloaded a copy of the extended uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season, or it would have been season three theme, because that the extended version was didn't happen until season three, uh, and they just had to have that little uh, that little piece of music right there. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I I can't tell you when I did my review for the Deluxe Megazord, uh, I mentioned in there that there's that song that plays in the background. I mentioned there's that song with the heavy guitar, whatever it is, that plays when the Zords were being summoned and transforming and things like that. Well, ironically, a couple of days after I posted that video to YouTube, uh, I found a copy of that song. And I, I, unfortunately, I won't be able to, I could, but I'm not going to post it in Titanus's review because uh, it just, it just doesn't fit. Uh, if I can find the specific song that plays when he, if I can find the specific song that plays when Titanus is rolling out, I might do that. 
but to have Zord's instrumental playing would be... Uh, I, I don't think that would work. It, it should have been playing when I was talking about it in the Megazord review, and unfortunately that didn't happen. Okay, I just saw the clock and how much time I've used up uh, doing this recording, so I've got to close this up. The first thing, and I know this is going to be opening the floodgates, I'm, I'm going to regret this in some ways, is that I have signed up with Skype. Um, people have been urging me to do it for about a year now. They've been wanting to chat with me either through texting. By the way, I do not have a cell phone, so I do not text, uh, but I can do... Um, was it I am kind of and uh, I also have a microphone which is actually what I'm using right now in order to record this obviously I'm not using my camera anymore to, to do that because just the audio quality is better this way um, you can find me on Skype under the username what else Ava unit 4a which does have the underscores by the way so it's Ava underscore unit underscore 4a so uh, look me up and, uh, I don't know, maybe I can post some day, date, time, or whatever it is where um, I'll do a like a conference call or something like that. My Actually, the, the lag isn't too bad, so uh, I actually could do a, uh, a, a video, or I actually could do a, uh, actually the audio, uh, actually my lag isn't too bad, so I actually could do a microphone conversation with you guys. So uh, I don't have a webcam right now. Uh, I do not plan to get a webcam anytime soon, because honestly, I don't need it. Um, I know some of you have been asking, hey, Ava, what do you look like? Well, to be frankly honest, I prefer the anonymity of the username AvaUnit4A and the like, because I'm just paranoid about uh, ID theft and you know things getting back to me that I would not want or would not like to get connected to me. So I'm not saying I'm a bad person. I'm not in trouble with the law. I'm not running from anybody. It's just paranoia. That's all it is. Uh, yes, some people online do know my real name, um, but uh, I prefer the anonymity that the internet gives me. So, I mean, if I met you in person, Hey, sure, I'll tell you my real name, but uh, seeing as not many of you live in the Washington State area, speak up if you do, by the way. Um, yeah, that you, I'm not going to tell you. So, yes, I am signed up with Skype as user AvaUnit 4 a Look me up. Before I close this particular vlog out, uh, I wanted to point something out to you that's uh, getting me kind of excited. Um, Usually I peruse through uh, a number of different sites, not not one specifically, but a bunch of different sites, because it's usually through um, putting the different pieces of information together from the different sites. I can I can kind of gleam what's going on with Super Sentai Transformers, on and on and on, things like that. That that's how I gather my information. Uh, I don't always watch the shows, you know. But anyways, um, one of the sites that I frequent is Taitoku.com which is a Taiwanese uh, language uh, tokusatsu fan site, forums, discussions, and pictures, and things like that. Anyways, last week, um, and of course I can't read Taiwanese, but I can read English once in a while. So if there's English in the, the thread heading, then I can see, oh, this looks interesting. Anyways, um, last week I looked at a thread that mentions Kamen Rider. And I saw this picture. I do not know if this is legitimate. I do not know if this is fake. I don't know. I sent I sent a copy of it off to Josh B. last week, and I asked him to pass it on to our regular uh, uh, Kamen Rider um, guy over on CDX, and I have not gotten a response back from him. It looks legitimate, but here's the thing I'm wondering about. Look at, at between the words come in and writer, I don't know much about uh, pre uh, Kuga uh, come in writer series, but I definitely recognize that logo in there. Um, I think it's, is that the Shocker logo, if I'm not much mistaken? The reason I say that is because, well, I've seen all of come in writer Kabuto. And that is not the logo of Zact or the Worms, which are the baddies and good guys, respectively, from Kamen Rider Kabuto, which I've seen all of, by the way. Uh, so, 
hot damn if they do it. Uh, I thought very highly of uh, Dragon Knight from, uh, what was it, a year and a half ago, something like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get to finish it because I couldn't find um, reliable sources to download the rest of the episodes. But anyways, um, I haven't seen anything else about it except for this po this picture right here. Okay, This is all I know about it, okay? So you now know as much as I do. Uh, clearly, just from the heading they're talking about here, it's going to be different uh, from Kabuto. Um, so uh, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to if if uh, they can bring this back and make it make it stick like they did with uh, Kamen Rider Dragon Knight. That would be sweet beyond words. So um, yeah, look forward to that. So little to say and not a lot of time to say it. Uh, to those of you who have stuck around with me all this time with so few uh, updates, my apologies. And yet, thank you for sticking around with me all this time. And for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, thank you for tuning in. And with that, I shall say this is AvaUnit4A, and thank you for tuning in.